Freeing the end or defeating the wither makes you feel like quite a hero for saving the world from destruction. But what if you could really become a superhero? Hey everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at a mod called Fisk's Heroes. Yep, this has a wide range of items, weapons and suits for you to become practically any hero or villain. So we have Accelerated Man and as the title says, he has the Speed Force just like the Flash and you can take a look at all his abilities if you hover over a piece of clothing and hold your shift key. Of course, you can't just press the shift key to go ultra fast, so instead you just have to follow the key binds up in the corner and if you want to speed up you have to press N. It really depends on what you have set as your controls. But in some suits like Godspeed or Silver Surfer, you can accelerate the speed or slow it down. And to do that, hold the adjust speed button and scroll down. And as you can see here, the speed can be changed. And another cool feature in the Speed Force suits is that you can slow down time just so you can run without bumping into stuff or dodge projectiles like a boss. Next up we have Agent Liberty. He has a simple tool and that is his retractable clothes that come with the suit. And by the way, some of the superheroes that are showcased here are added with add-on packs that add even more superheroes with awesome powers like the Iron Mania pack, the Scarred Heroes pack and the Secret Heroes pack. Links in the description down below. Now my favorite suit here is this guy named Ant-Man. Clearly the most obvious power that he has is to shrink down or grow his size into a giant. And to do that hold N and just like the speedster scroll up to shrink and down to go back to normal. It's not the same for giant mode cause you have to just hit the V key. And the fact that he can do that is pretty cool. And also I do believe that if you shrink down and fight him off you do 50% more damage. Do be warned that this progress bar right here is there for a reason. For if you remain too small then you can probably disappear and shrink into an atom. And the only way to get back is to get a density anomaly. More information on this in the next episode of this mod showcase. Anti-Monitor can do pretty much the same thing, although he can teleport and project his energy towards his targets and has the option to grow bigger than Ant-Man but not grow smaller. So this suit right here, yeah it doesn't have any powers but it has a cool skill of archery enabling you to rotate the bow for horizontal shots which is useful for the triple trick arrow. The bows and arrows can't be fired normally, but more on this in the next mod showcase episode, cause this is clearly a huge mod. Up next we have Atom, and by wearing this you can resize yourself and you can resize the suit into one item, making it quite convenient for storage. Plus one can fly with this and hover on the spot if they need to attack something in the air. And if that doesn't satisfy one, then there's somebody else called Atom Smasher and he can grow only to a bigger size and jump pretty far for a bulky build. Plus, if you're a fan of Batman, you'll like what I'm gonna show you, trust me. But before I do, please make sure to subscribe, like and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on our latest videos. Moving down onto the next superhero, the one and only Batman. Well, not really the one and only because there are four suits of armor for Batman. So the most obvious and iconic tool here are his fists and the Batarang, which you can switch from to and fro by pressing the N key. And if you haven't noticed, the range attacks have a cooldown to recharge ammo and you can cycle through the utility belt if you scroll up or down when holding the N key. My most favorite weapon here is the ice grenade and that is a powerful weapon because it literally freezes anything in his path. 
and the sound it makes is so awesome and immersive along with a smoke grenade which if thrown to a player or mob will generate smoke around the place and disappear after a while. And the significant weapon he owns is quite unique and that's the grappling gun. The other suits are literally the same thing except they have their own unique and awesome design. So without any further ado, let's head on to the next heroes in the mod. Black Canary, the suit that can emit the canary cry. For crying out loud, it does a lot of damage and breaks the fragile blocks like glowstone or glass. And even though I'm trying to go in alphabetic order, I couldn't help but get to Green Lantern, who is the same as the guy who should come next. But he's the Black Lantern, who I do not even know that well. So I chose Green Lantern, cause why not, right? A quick overview of what Green Lantern can do is pretty much materialize objects, even his own suit, with the special ring you have to wear. Not only can he materialize his suit, but he can also materialize a ranged bow, a shield and a melee weapon, a baseball bat in particular. Black Manta, main rival of Aquaman and also a Fortnite skin. Although he has some epic powers like the Manta Ray Blast and the hidden blades between the sleeves. Plus he can fly. I bet if you know Marvel and the Black Panther then you'll love this suit cause it's the Black Panther himself. He can do that Wakanda forever pose and also transform with his nanite necklace. And just like the Manta Ray and Wolverine, he can toggle claws. But yeah, you can't see it that much cause it's just one pixel. Next up right after that is the Black Widow from the Avengers. Okay, I look pretty ridiculous in this, but hey, she has some OP powers. Like shooting lasers and throwing these sharp ninja stars. But there are no other powers except these two. Anybody remember the blue beetle? The dude with a beetle grafted to his spine? Well now I just grafted it onto my spine and it grants me these abilities. The ability to fly, which unlike the elytra you can press space to hover above the ground and the sneak button to stop. Like the black panther you can transform into the suit by pressing G. To shoot hold N and while holding N hit the right mouse button to use the energy cannon. There even is a blade which can be toggled if you press V. Captain America, the first adventure. He has super soldier serum in his bloodstream so he can practically do awesome stuff. And that includes jumping over this. Because no other player can jump over 2 blocks or 3 blocks. But Captain America has you covered. And a cool thing about the shield is that it's a circular boomerang. Although sometimes it could get lost. And you have to get it on your own. Steve Rogers was Captain America and so was Sam Wilson but he's got wings aka a Wakandan flight pack. He can basically do the same things as Steve Rogers Captain America like the shield throwing and the super soldier strength stuff although Sam Wilson can fly. Is it getting cold in here? Yep, that's right, we've got Captain Cold in the league. He's a villain who's got one superpower and that's Cold Resistance, which doesn't do any damage but has this gun, which creates a powerful layer of ice that will stick to a block until it melts and does 7 hearts of damage to a mob. Kronos has no special powers, like literally you can see that here, but he has 92.2 damage reduction and a special rifle which will shoot laser bolts and explode on impact. Citizen Steel, the man of steel, has the ability to turn his skin into steel or at least form a layer of strong material which gives you increased resistance. Although you should know that there is a time limit for your steel skin. But if that's not your cup of tea, then I recommend that you go for Colossus, the man of organic steel. He has a great amount of resistance unless he gets overpowered by somebody else. 
Cross bones ain't your ordinary Jolly Roger, cause he has pain resistance, which makes him resistant to pain, in whatever way, may it be zombie punch or creeper blasts. You can press N to toggle your charge punch, which is indicated by the change of POV and animated hand, though he is not resistant to fire or drowning. Mutant Deadpool, capable of healing up faster than any average human, making him great for fighting, although he is not as good as Crossbones, who takes no damage at all. Plus, like Captain Cold in America, he has a significant weapon, and that is his katanas. It's pretty weird to see that you can hold two items in both hands in 1.7.10, but to attack with your left hand, click the right mouse button, and vice versa for the other hand. Ah, out in the open with Dr. Fate, who has an obsession with Ank. You can see that sign on his chest everywhere whenever he's around. And unlike the other heroes who have a ring or something grafted to their spine to transform their suit, he wears a mask to transform. Just hit V and you can't transform back again unless you take off the mask and put it back on. Now Dr. Fate has 9 powers. Four which are spells and five which are the regular things you can see here. Hold N to cast the order beam with the sign of Ankh. Hold V to move your mouse around to cast the spells. And instead of casting them with one click, you have to do it with a several bunch of key clicks. And the spells are the duplication spell, the whip spell, the earth swallowing spell and the atmospheric spell. Next to Dr. Fate, there is the Dr. Strange and he can cast spell circles for shields and also fly while shielding himself, making this suit great for mid-air combat. And also just like Dr. Fate, he has the same spells. Yes, he might look like a normal guy until you toggle his Aztec form, a monstrous demon-like creature from the underworld. El Diablo can shoot out flames from his hand with the press of a button. Also, do be warned that your Aztec form does have a time limit, so you can't be the demon for too long. And you can easily beat the ghast without playing tennis, if you just right click. Nice, he is also resistant to fire. Somebody's hungry for planets, and that's Galactus, a literal titan when he grows up to size. Almost all his powers are unlocked when he's massively grown, and all these creators here are caused by him, but we'll get to that in a little bit. His stats are great for a big guy like him, although his true powers come from his abilities, which is energy projection, teleportation and devouring the earth, which you can do if you right click while holding F. Doing the same with G will create a huge tremor, which will do damage to all mobs caught in the explosions. Talk about straight from the nether and back. Meet Johnny Blaze, aka the Ghost Rider, with a pure spirit of vengeance, able to cast out his beams of hellfire and scorching out chains to subdue his targets who might be fighting in lava seeing that he is fire resistant. Savitar isn't like Flash, Velocity or Godspeed himself because he has 7 levels of speed which allows him to go super fast. But what can make him go even faster is the Tachyon device which if charged right will give you 4 more levels of speed increasing it to about 11 levels. The device of course works for all speeds to suit and will give you extra 4 levels. An extra feature that will enhance your experience with Savitar is the claw that he can toggle on and off at will. It does 9 damage and is pretty useful for kills in 2 hits. Captain Cold is a bit too cold, so why not turn up the heat up to Heat Wave, who has heat resistance, and a special heat gun dedicated just to him. It has the same mechanic as the cold gun and sets mobs, blocks, or whatever on fire, so if you're going to be him, better build a brick house. 
If the normal Batman suit doesn't satisfy your liking, then you could go for the Hellbat. Yeah, I know it sounds like a total nightmare, but he has some pretty awesome gadgets up his sleeve. Just like the Batman suit, he has a utility belt. Although what Batman lacked was a wrist laser, which can be shot if you hold B to aim and right click. And a Hell Beam can be fired if you hold B. And wait till this circular bar in specific is full. Stealth mode basically makes you go invisible but it isn't as mob proof as you would think. Hulk going rogue isn't the ideal situation, so that's why I called in the Hulk Buster. We are coming into the Iron Man section of the showcase and that means lots of fun gadgets like the iconic Repulsor, Unibeam and Charge Punch, which works like the Crossbones one. I'm sure that'll keep Hulk calm for now. Flying works the same as some characters, for you can hover in midair instead of falling to the ground if you press V while in midair. And a new feature that you've probably never heard of that goes in the Stark Legacy of Suits is Sentry Mode. Once you press G, you'll exit the suit and it'll be like your own personal guard, following your orders and protecting you from harm's way. And if you ever need to get in, right click the Sentry Guard and walk into it. Ivan Banco is back in the game and there's only one person to stop him. Yep, Iron Man with a Mark V suitcase ready to be equipped. It's a weaker armor with great storage benefit and has less powers than the Hulkbuster. And how can nobody like compact stuff for their inventory? Well, you're in luck for a better version of all the suits. And this is the most powerful suit compared to the Hulkbuster itself. Press G to transform the nanites compressed in the arc reactor. This suit suit is so powerful for if you hold N and go into your third person view, you will expand a few more repulsor beams than needed to annihilate your enemies quickly. And if you want to go for the melee sword of fight, then press V to toggle your shield and press it again to toggle the blade, although for compact suits you can't go into sentry mode unfortunately. And one little feature about all the sentry modes is that you can make them hover for a little while if you sneak right click them. Some people hate clowns, although everybody hates this one in particular. Yep, that's right, you guessed it, the Joker, Batman's biggest rival with a retractable blade in the form of a dagger. Even though Mysterio is a villain, I just like the power he holds. Like the charged beam, the lasers and the three spells, which in order go as the drone illusion, which unleashes up to four drones and attack their target. And the duplication spell will duplicate the player to form a circle around the target. Or if you want, you can also go for a blindness spell. Also, if you hit G, you can pass through the ground, but be careful if you are still underneath it and hit the button again. Martian Manhunter, a shapeshifter and a confusing person when it gets to the who is who part of the story and he can transform into other players but not the entities and go invisible whenever he pleases and to shapeshift you must make sure that you are on a LAN, public or private server and then you can press N to type in the player's name and once you hit done you will become that specific player. The rest of the power controls are listed up in the corner so you can find your way around. Even though he has the name Word Wing in his name, he can't fly. Although he lives up to the name of the night because all he throws is smoke grenades and is really stealthy with those lightning sticks of his. Obsidian, in my opinion, has two creepy powers, which is his Shadow Form, aka Death Eater Form, and the Shadow Dome, in which you have to hold V and shoot shadows at the sky so everything can turn all dark and spooky. Rip Hunter, like Captain Cold and Heatwave, has his own weapon from high tech, high noon, and that is Rip Hunter's gun. In other words, a laser revolver. It does 6 points of damage to any mob, but other than that, he does not have any special powers. Ever wanted to have a pet cactus? Well, Senor Cactus has got you covered, although he has himself covered as well, in spikes of course, but he gets rid of them with his spike throwing ability, which does a good amount of damage, and a spike burst which you can trigger if you press its specific key. 
although a quite creepy feature besides in this suit. Let's say you have a cactus, and yeah, cactus aren't sound cool unless you hold N and right click on them, making them spring to life, fight and crying for you, and you can even make them taller, even though once they die, it will split into two, dropping the rest of the cactuses on the ground as an item, but two square cactuses with one heart. Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles and Mercury forms up the Great Shazam with super speed and electrokinesis along with arrow catching which can be triggered if you stare at an arrow whilst being shot. How can nobody like the Silver Surfer? With his surfboard and ability to face through blocks, it makes him nearly inevitable and you can also hold N to project energy towards your target. And also while flying, you can go super fast, and even faster if you toggle super speed. If the city's in trouble, then have no fear, Superman is here. He runs real fast, he shoots lasers out of his eyes, and he can fly if somebody is in trouble, making him the ultimate superhero for anybody who wants to save a village or a city. Heard of photographic reflexes? Well, this suit has it. Taskmaster, a born assassin and dangerous villain, even feared by the greatest superheroes. Taskmaster can use any weapon, even Captain America's shield, making it lethal for any target. So you want to go rogue and beat up the Hulkbuster yourself? Once you put on the glasses and transform, you can transform back. So you have to wait it up and you can settle your anger down. Plus you can smash the ground to create a huge explosion and pretty much create another creature. And if you don't want to go for the superheroes, you can go for the gauntlet and be inevitable. For the infinity gauntlet allows you to teleport with the power of an enderman. So throw away those enderpearls. And the Power Stone Beam has two variants. One is charged up like the Uni Beam, although if you press Sneak and press V, you will trigger something much like Superman's Heat Vision. Yet, if a powerful enemy takes the lead, then trigger your Soul Protector, which will cover you with a shield. If you right click after toggling, that is. But we are not done yet, for there are three more powers. Intangibility, aka phasing through blocks, and this power that I really don't know to say. It just makes you invisible. Slowing time down makes catching arrows easier, so when you're battling those pesky skeletons, make sure you turn that on. Fancy holding the Mjolnir? Well, that's good, for wearing this set of armor will allow you to summon the Mjolnir itself, as long as you have an empty hand. You can throw it, or bash it against your enemy's skull, strike lightning against them, or charge up all the power of the guards to strike down your mortal target. Jarvis plus Ultron and the Mind Stone equals Vision. With that one painfully powerful Infinity Stone stuck in his forehead, which is capable of blasting things through oblivion and passing through the ground. And also he's able to fly plus levitate in midair. War Machine reporting for duty with a suit equipped with repulsors and a shoulder mounted minigun ready to fire on targets. And all you've got to do to fire the gun is hold the F key and just like that you're firing the gun. And the last superhero we have is Wolverine, the man with the claws and a high jump speed to rip and tear your victims or criminals apart. And if you get into trouble, don't worry, you've got a healing factor like Deadpool. So yeah, that brings us to the end of the mod showcase. There are three tabs which I divided into two episodes. The first one being the one you are watching now and the second one is dedicated to all the blocks and items that reside in the mod. If you found this video useful then maybe share the video and give us a like and subscribe. Although if you have any questions then drop a comment down below and do the same thing if I forgot anything in this mod showcase. By the way, the links for the add-ons are in the description down below. And I guess that's it. Hope you've learned something great. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next episode of this mod showcase. See you later.